Hey everyone, fall is in the air and that means it's time for pumpkin chucking. But before I got into 3D printers, I would make things out of cardboard and popsicle sticks with my kid. I got into making mini pumpkin chuckers because taking my boys to the local pumpkin patch to use those full-size catapults can get really pricey really fast. So you have to buy all the pumpkins that you chuck and you only get to chuck them one time. So when I got my first ender, I just had to make a better catapult, a tiny 3D printed catapult. Now we can fling mini pumpkins whenever we like. And for this Halloween season, I'm releasing the Tinkerpult 2.0. This one is even easier to print and it's super quick to make. You can print this tiny chucker right now with whatever filament you have on hand. And if you don't have a 3D printer, you can use a service like PCBWay. And they were kind enough to sponsor this week's video. So I sent my catapult files over to them and they printed them out in just a couple of days. <laughs> it's really easy to take your files, whether you're making a catapult like this one or a resin miniature like we did last time, and upload them to PCBWay for a free estimate. They can print in lots of colorful plastic, clear resin, engineering materials like nylon or peak, and even make metal. Uh, if you need to prototype something more serious, they have services for CNC machining, sheet metal bending, and of course, custom PVCs. And also, check out these TPU pumpkins. So these pumpkins were printed on an SLS machine, which means they take layers of TPU powder and then melt each layer with a laser. So these are the most perfect, tiny little throw in pumpkins you will ever see. And they're pretty soft, so they won't hurt if you step on them. Now, I know what you're thinking. Denise, don't you have a Giga? Why not 3D print a really big catapult? Well, I do, and I am. But in order to max out the build plate on this, I would need a lot more filament and a few more days of printing. I do. <laughs> and so we can print it whatever size you want. I know it can be fun to watch YouTubers play with big toys that might be hard to come by, but I really wanted to make something that I could share with you and you could easily make on an average size 3D printer. And since Halloween is fast approaching, it needs to be something you can slap on that printer really fast. This is the Ripley Pult 3000, named after my dog. It's a combo of PVC pipes and 3D printed parts. It's based off of a PVC backyard catapult that we made a couple of years ago for my mom blog, STL Motherhood. That catapult takes a couple of hours and a couple of pieces of pipe from the hardware store, uh, and you just need an old butter dish. We had that one chucking pumpkins a good 40 feet. But the design needs you to cut the pipes into a lot of little pieces, and I thought, why not make it easier and better looking with 3D printing? Depending upon how fast your printer is and what material you use, it can take a good three to five hours to print one of these pieces. If you need it faster, you can print the T's and the pivot point and use regular PVC elbows for the corners. I'm sharing all these files and printables and things for you to download for free. To make the Ripley pulp, you'll need about 15 feet of one inch PVC pipe. We had some laying around the garage, but my local hardware store has 10 foot sections for about seven bucks each. You'll also want to grab these giant rubber bands. We found them at Lowe's listed as moving straps. They're $8 for a three pack. For the printing, if you make all the 3D printed parts, you'll need about two spools of filament. Pet G is your best bet, but use what you have on hand. It's a catapult, not a fashion statement. And of course, pumpkins. Mini pumpkins are fairly cheap right now, and you could launch them over and over, unless your dog takes a liking to them. While I was working on this design, I was testing out the FlashForge Adventurer M5 Pro. So I used a combination of ABS, PETG, and PLA. I think PETG is going to be your best bet, 
because it's less brittle than PLA and you can still print it on any printer. I made the parts as easy to print as I could, but there's no avoiding supports for this. You can use these settings to make the supports easier to remove, and since you're not going to see the inside of this, it's okay to use a screwdriver to scrape out the stubborn bits. Before you glue it together, you'll want to dry fit the parts and make sure it's all pointing the right way. The original PVC catapult had the throwing arm going through this U-shaped piece, but we tested it with the part switched around to see if it was any better, and it's not. There's just too much space here, and the pumpkin gets thrown kind of downward. We pulled it apart and rearranged things, and now the catapult has a bit more loft to it. I didn't want to take the whole catapult apart, but since the pivot is now facing the wrong way, I easily fixed it with a little facade and some 3D glue. See? All better. If you made it to the end of this video, you're one of my favorite people. Thanks! And you might want to know that when I hit 10,000 subs, I'm going to celebrate by launching a Patreon membership. As a special thank you for supporting this channel, you'll get behind the scenes access, a Discord where we can talk about the latest 3D printers I'm reviewing, and some cool STL files I'm working on. I'm also planning on mailing out a few welcome packs to the first subscribers with things like stickers and snack size samples of my favorite filament. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks, and happy chucking. What you got? Do you have one of my pumpkins? What are you? Bring it here. Give me my pumpkin. Come on. Come on. Give me my pumpkin. No, Ripley! What are you doing, Ripley? Okay. Do you want it to be attacked by the dog? Yes. Ripley. Gun. Is that a close enough?